Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brainstorms here, and in this video, we will be starting a Harka world. Before we start this video, comment down below how far you think we will get in our first 10 days. Let's start this world. We spawned in a village and decided to go chop down a tree to get some wood. With this wood, we made a wooden pickaxe and went to a cave to mine stone so that we can make ourselves some basic stone tools. After this, I decided to go mine some hay bales and then kill this iron golem, which only gave me three iron. Then I tried using math to find diamonds, which obviously worked and secured us another eight diamonds. Then we smelted our iron that we mined, which gave us enough iron to make a bucket and an iron test plate. With everything that I had acquired, and day zero, I decided to sleep and start day one. I started off day one by finding some diamonds and then fighting the skeleton to get to the treasure. The skeleton was being really annoying and wouldn't let me get to it to kill it. Finally, once I killed the skeleton, I was able to mine the eight diamonds which would help me a lot. With all the extra diamonds that I had just acquired, I made myself a diamond helmet and diamond boots, which would help me in all of my future journeys. Then I got lost in a cave for almost half of the day, which was a big waste of time, but did help me get a lot of extra materials. Then I just decided to sleep in my bed to end off day one, and begin day two. I started off the day by picking up my bed and then using math to find more diamonds because I obviously didn't have enough. Somehow, I found eight more diamonds, which was insanely lucky. Then, I went back up to the surface and was running around the village to choose which house would be mine. I chose this house to be my own and placed down a crafting table to make chests so that I could store all of my belongings in. Then I made diamond pants so that I could have almost a full set of diamonds. After customizing my house, I went outside to kill this cow and to mine 14 obsidian underground to make an enchantment table and an nether portal. Once I finished mining the obsidian, I went back up to the surface to end off day two and start Day three. I started off the day by going to mine a bunch of hay bales and then mining some sugar cane so that I can make an enchantment table and two bookshelves. I chose this house to be where I put my enchantment table and my bookshelves and then enchanted all of my armor and tools. Then I built my nether portal and loaded up and then decided to end off day three to begin day four. I started off day four by going to the nether and then I decided to explore my spawn and while I was at it, fight some skeletons too. Then I mined some gold that I found on the side of a mountain and made some golden boots so that the piglins wouldn't attack me. Then, this one gas started shooting at me, and I couldn't hit it, because I just kept missing the fireballs. Then, the gas lit me on fire, which was really bad, and I used my cauldron to put water in it, so that I could put myself out. But then, another gas started shooting at me. Then I decided to kill the Sandman, which dropped nothing. I went back to the overworld, so that I could go back to my house. Then. I decided to try and trap this villager so that I could get it some good trade. So this villager was being really annoying and because it started running around the entire village, making me do so many extra things. First, it started trying to get a job. Then it tried going to sleep in every single bed in the entire village. So I had to break all of them till finally it started following me. But then it decided to go inside of my house and try to sleep in those beds. So finally, once I got it in the hole, I decided to go and repair the village. 
so I put the beds in all of the houses, and then I decided to end off the day four and start day five. I started off the day by trying to get this villager a good trade, either protection for or mending. So I kept breaking this lectern over and over again. This probably took me over 10 minutes and I broke the lectern over 100 times. So I just kept breaking it and replacing it and checking the trades to see if I got anything good until finally one time I broke the lectern and placed it and saw that there was a mending trade and couldn't believe my eyes. Because I had gotten this amazing trade, I had to lock it in so that the villager would not lose the trade. I only had 21 paper, and I needed 24. So I found two sugarcane and decided to go back to the village to plant it to see if it would grow in time. So then I kept running around, searching in every single place that had water, and I couldn't find a single piece of sugarcane. So I just kept running around and looking, and then I just gave up and decided to wait for the sugar cane to grow. And then, I, after killing this creeper, I decided to ring the bell a couple times, just like you guys should do, and killed a couple mobs. But then I d decided to run and keep running until I found sugar cane, or a swamp, which would be really good. So, in the distance, I saw a swamp. And at swamps, there's always sugarcane. So I got the sugarcane from here, and then just ran home, because now is a race against time. Now that I had the sugarcane, I just had to get back to the village in time. So once I got there, it was time to see if the villager still had the trade, which it did. So I locked in the trade by trading some paper, then, I tried getting another villager inside of the hole so that I could get more emeralds. So, I tried looking around and finding a villager until I found one and tried giving it the job of a Fletcher so that I could trade sticks for emeralds. So, once I got it in the hole, I tried getting it the stick trade until I did. And then, I cut down a bunch of trees so that I could get sticks to trade for emeralds. So, I did and I got five emeralds, which would help me a lot in the way to getting a mending trade. So then I bought a bow and a bunch of arrows from them too, until I just decided to place down a bunch of beds to see how many extra villagers we had in the village. So I found one villager. That was it. So then I built a house around the villager and got an iron golem in there to protect it. Then I decided to end off day six and begin Day 7. I started off the day by running over to some trees and chopping them down so that I could finish the house. So I finished off the house and then decided to cut down some more just so that I could have extra. And then I tried getting this Fletcher inside of the dirt house that I made so that they can make some babies. But this villager ran away. So I had to get it back inside of the house. So once I got it inside, they made some babies. And I don't know how this happened. We probably shouldn't have shown that on video. But the baby villager just appeared there. And then I decided to go cut down a bunch more trees. And so that I could get more emeralds. So then I traded all of my sticks that I made to the Fletcher. And decided to end off day 7. I started off day 8 by chopping down a bunch of trees and planting all the saplings so the more trees could grow. Then I traded all the sticks to this Fletcher so that I could get more emeralds, which gave us a total of 25 emeralds. Then I gave these villagers some food so that they could have more babies and gave them a little death threats, but we'll skip over that part. Then I went to the nether so that I could mine some quartz to make observers for the future so that I can make automated farms. Then, I went back to the overworld, with this skeleton trying to stop me. And then, I went to this villager, and decided to end off day 8, and begin day 9.
I started off, day nine, by waking up with this villager. Don't know what happened that night. And then I decided to go explore this desert and found another village in the distance. So I explored this village and decided to try to take this villager to back to our, my house. So I decided to keep placing down and breaking this stone cutter so that I could try to get this villager all the way across the entire desert. It wasn't being very cooperative, though. So I kept going, and it was getting closer and closer to the village, until it just decided to run away. And then it started running back towards the village, and then it just started walking back and fell in this cave. So then I got it out of the cave, and then just gave up, because it was being really annoying. Then I went back to my villagers to find that one of them was a zombie villager, and just decided to make the other one one too so that I can get better traits if I heal them, which happened pretty quickly. And then I went in and killed this baby zombie. Then I decided to end off day nine and begin the final day of my journey. So I started off day 10 by going outside to kill all of the mobs outside of my house. And I just want to say thank you all for making it to the end if you're seeing this. And I just want to say if you appreciated this video type and you wanted me to do more of it, just hit that like button. And if I get enough support, I might make another one. So just to recap on what we've done in the first 10 days, we went to the nether and we got these two villagers. We got one enchanter that had a mending trade and one fletcher that had a stick trade for emeralds. So I just want to say thank you all for watching this video and see you next time. Bye.